Good evening, dear listeners, and welcome to Glorious Life Gospel Radio, FM 90.0. And we give God all the glory for His grace that has enabled us to be live on this program. We don't take it lightly, but from our hearts, we are truly very, very grateful for the power of God that is on us, helping us to fulfill divine purpose, helping us to advance his kingdom on earth, helping us to maintain our salvation and all the blessings he has put on our lives. Let us pray. King of glory, we thank you for your power, for your grace, for your blessings, especially that of salvation that we have from you. We say receive all the glory, O God, even for the fact that we are alive today. We say, Lord, you are God. No one, O Father, can do for us what you have done and yet to do in our lives. We give you all the glory. We are here on Glorious Life Gospel Radio to look into your word, to bless ourselves with the riches of blessings that come from your word, to encourage ourselves as we run this Christian race, for the strength that comes from you to enable us to run this race that has a lot of obstacles. Jesus, we trust you to help us to understand your word, to be able, O oh Father, to know that which you have for us tonight, to equip us, O oh God, for this race. It is not by our might nor by our power, but by your spirit. We know that this program tonight will give us the equipment we need, O oh God, to run this Christian race successfully. We say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, once again, we'll be welcome on Glorious Life Gospel Radio, FM 90.0. Me, I'll be Pastor Ade Isidore. We get a very wonderful lesson. It be on the topic, keeping your salvation and blessings from God. Keeping your salvation and and blessings from God. Now a very important topic because for receive salvation and blessings from God now one thing but for keep them now another. We get cases of people in the Bible where they be received blessings from God but they lost them. The very first example we will get them in the book of creation, the book of Genesis. Now, we first Papa and we first Mommy, we na Adam and Eve. They be receive life from God. When God be created them from the dust of the ground, He be bred into their nostrils, the bread of life, and they be become living souls. And uh, they no be get for die physically. They no be get for get lifespan as we know. But because they be sinned against God, they will lose eternal life. They no be get that eternal life where God be expect them for living. Their sins separate them from God, and so lifespan it take effect on them. They will also lose the beautiful garden, the original world where will be an environment where will be very suitable, very conducive for human life, because they will disobey God. They lost them. We know of Esau in the Bible. A position in the family as first begin, it be give you the right to the covenant where your papa be getting with God. But Esau be lost the blessing because say he no be get time for wait where papa God he like him. He no be cherish God he plan. He no be like covenant with God, so he be lost him. If we want for go through the entire Bible, we go to see plenty people. Where God it be give them salvation and blessings, but they lost them. Jesus be called Judas Iscariot, make he can walk with ye, make he put ye in the foundation of your church like the other apostles. Now privilege that for serve God. Judas Iscariot he turn and down, he walk against Jesus and he plan. So when you don't receive salvation and blessings from God, now one thing for keep them now another. 
When we read Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2, it tells we say salvation na a race. We mean say when you start them, you get for run them well and make them to the end. Make I read the passage. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. I want me with attention a day on the statement where it goes say, Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. That statement it means say, sin we it the entangle we, catch we, tie them to the world. May we put them aside, so that we fit for run the Christian race where it be set before we, we make them to the end. The writer of Hebrews, he talks say, as we be start this race, we get for put our focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, where it be the author and the finisher of our faith. We be the beginning and it be the end of this race. We be be born again, now as Jesus, his blood and spirit be be applied to our lives. We get for run this Christian race also with strength where they come from Jesus Christ, where they live within us, for make them to the end. We get for stay focused on Jesus Christ, we run this race. It be very beautiful for we for see Christianity as a race and not an event. Christianity na a race where you start them, you run them for reach the end. No be one time event. We the talk so, we know say, Satan don't inspire some people the way they believe, say, Christianity na some one-time event where once you don't be saved, you'll be forever saved when nothing, no fee, cause you for lose your salvation. That's what some people believe. But we know, say, na doctrines of devils, people, the way they get that kind believe, they know if you run the Christian race well because they ever be them relaxed in sin. They be them relaxed. They give room for the devil. They give room for sin. They give room for the world. For destroy them. The Bible tell we clearly say Christianity na a race. No be some one time thing where they happen for you. Where you no feel lost them. Na a race where you start them. And you get for go finish them. We read inside Second Peter chapter 1 verse 10 say. Wherefore the rather... Brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. It talks say, may brethren, brethren, it referred to born again believers. It said, brethren, may we give diligence for make our calling and election sure. God it give a call to salvation to the entire world. Now why that way? Second Peter chapter three, from verse nine to fourteen, the Bible tell we for they say, God he no be willing say may any perish, but say may all he come to repentance. We mean say God they give a call to everybody make it come to repentance to the born again experience for salvation. Now a calling that. And then when we don't embrace Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ will become the basis on which we be elected for salvation. And uh, when we don't be saved, initially, in no end for day, Bible talks say, as we de continue for live and to run this spiritual race, the Christian race, 
we get for make our calling and election sure. That salvation experience will be start with them. We get for affirm them. We get for stand with them. We run the race till the end. Salvation no be one time thing where it happen. Salvation nothing where it is start. Then it get for continue so day till Jesus Christ it will return. Or till when we die in Christ. So I go like at this point for really give our lesson objectives so that we all go really know why this lesson it be taught. We go get some other lessons the way they go follow this uh, lesson subsequently. For now, may we take our lesson objectives in. Glorious Life Gospel Radio, now a wonderful gift where God a giam to the people of Bamenda and beyond. Glorious Life Gospel Radio, as he preach the gospel of the kingdom, he don't bring thousands of people to the born again experience. People don't get to know the one God of the Bible, the one person God of the Bible. They don't know about the dead burial and resurrection of Jesus where he provides blood and spirit for our redemption and regeneration. Thousands of people, they don't obey Acts chapter 2 verse 38 for receive Jesus' his blood and his spirit for their salvation. And uh, as we don't talk, salvation, it get beginning, it get the process where you run the race, the Christian race day till the end. So, we did teach these lessons for help everybody where don't be born again, where you don't get the Acts 238 born again experience, make it see Christianity as a spiritual race. So that we no go fall in the trap of relaxing in sin, thinking say we'll be once be saved, so we'll forever be saved. We know we fall inside that kind of trap. Our salvation no be unconditional. The Bible talks say may we make our calling and election sure. God give we call and He give we salvation in Christ. Yes, but we through our commitment to live by divine principles reflecting the king of the kingdom, we get for make our election sure. The Bible tell we say without holiness no man shall see the Lord. We no get for fall into that trap of unconditional salvation we it cause people them for relax in sin. We also want for show the obstacles away the day in the Christian race where everybody where they run this race Ego must encounter him. Sin, now one of the obstacles. Satan, now one of the obstacles. And the ungodly world would live inside, now another obstacle. When you de run the Christian race from time where you be born again, you must encounter these three obstacles. You go encounter sin, where it go one for bring you down. May you give up on the race. May you stop the race. Sin, it go one may you stop the race halfway. Satan too, it one may you stop the Christian race halfway. The ungodly world will they inside. It also want to most stop the Christian race halfway. But we get for overcome these three obstacles. Them. We get for overcome sin. We get for overcome Satan. We get for overcome the world. So that we run this race to the end. If we get for die, may we die in Christ. If God it permits him, we will live. We get for live running this race in holiness till we reach the physical return of the Lord Jesus Christ. We not go give up. We also want for show practical biblical steps them on how for overcome the obstacles away the day in our Christian race. Uh huh. We go show practical biblical steps them we will fit for. Use them for overcome these factors away now obstacles when we run our Christian race. May we first of all look at the blessings the way born again believers them the get them. The Bible tell we say when we don't be born again of water 
and of the spirit will they enter into the kingdom of God. Now for they will they start the race. And when we don't get into the kingdom of God like that, becoming citizens, we get a number of blessings we will get for Lucam now. We get reunion with our heavenly father. We be our creator. Now the first blessing that. And this reunion, the Bible call them saying as salvation. Secondly, we get the hope of eternal life. When we don't be reunited with our creator, now salvation, hope of eternal life. Salvation, the point us to the future where we go get into our eternal home, live with our heavenly father. We call them say the hope of eternal life. Thirdly, we get the assurance of divine enablement. When you don't enter the kingdom of God by the born again experience, you will get the assurance of divine enablement. Say, Papa God, go help you. It go strengthen you for overcome the obstacles the way the day on the Christian race. Fourthly, we get the assurance of divine provision and protection. When you don't be born again, you get into the kingdom of God. God he give a promise for divinely protect we and for provide for we. So this number of blessings the way we don't mention and now we go read the scriptures the way that he talk about these things. We will be first talk say when you don't be born again of water and of the spirit, you enter into the kingdom of God as Jesus be talking for John chapter 3 verse 5 and the apostles and practice them inside Acts chapter 2 verse 38, you will become reunited with God. Reunited because we be fall in Adam. When we be fall, we be need reconciliation, reunion with our heavenly father, we be our creator. Bible tell we, Inside Second Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18 say, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and had given to us the ministry of reconciliation. The key statement where I want more taken for here now the one way talk say now for verse 18 so it say who had reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. So by the born again experience we did be reunited to our God. That reunion now a wonderful blessing. For our human context we know how when you be separated from your parents, maybe because of your rebellion, you be separated from your wife or husband because of one misbehavior or the other. We know how sweet it is when reconciliation don't take place. We be reunited to family, friends, or society. In fact, a lot of joy it be. It be a wonderful thing. Say through the born again experience, we it be reunited with our Creator? We it be reconciled to our Creator? Now a wonderful blessing. Where it give us joy. Now a blessing that from our God. Say it provide the means of reconciliation with Him. A wonderful blessing. We will not be afford for losam. In our Christian race, we did do our best for protect this union. May no loss again. As be lost in Adam. We'll be talk say another blessing will the get them as born again believers, not the hope of eternal life. When you don't become a citizen of the kingdom by the born again experience, you get the hope. Say when Jesus go physically return, it bring in the new heaven and the new earth. We go get into that new world, into original life, we don't be restored. And so we go forever be with the Lord. Now a wonderful experience. We read them inside John chapter 14 verses 1, 2, and 3 say, Let not your heart be troubled. Now Jesus did talk. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. 
I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. A wonderful promise. With the Lord Jesus Christ, he began to his disciples, talking to them about the Father's house. Originally, the Father's house for humans, it be been at the Garden of Eden, where heaven and earth, it be meet together. The presence of God with Adam in the Garden, it be be a preservative, where it be give Adam the best life, and as so will begin for enjoy him. But Adam be lost him. But our Heavenly Father, it bring in the new heaven and the new earth. Jesus talks, say, in my father's house are many mansions. Now, Revelation 21, that a world where you no get physical death, you no get sickness, you no get pain, you no get sorrow, you no get crying. A wonderful world. Jesus talks, say, he go to prepare a place. And say, as we run this Christian race, may we run them with hope. Say, he go come back. He go take us unto himself. So that place where it be, we go be for day also. And now for eternity, we go be. Lifespan in no good day on us again. So when we run the Christian race, we run the Christian race, they protect this hope. Mono lost this hope. Mono lost this hope. We run the Christian race now so that we keep this hope till the time where the hope it will come to pass. Thirdly, we be talk say, as we become born again, we be get the assurance of divine enablement. Enablement it means say, strength, ability will be given to you for help you succeed. Bible tell we inside First Thessalonians chapter five verses twenty three and twenty four say, and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God. Your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that called you, who also will do it. So Apostle Paul, he began to pray for the church at Thessalonica. And uh, he began to talk, say, he did pray the God of peace, make it sanctify. We mean say, make it set those believers them apart make it set them apart for himself for salvation for a successful christian journey so may god is sanctify them set them apart till the time where jesus will return for our glorification for take us into our eternal home now apostle paul you pray at that but he also assured them inside verse 24 of first thessalonians chapter 5 say Faithful is he that called you, who also will do it. He talks it the God way, he call us to salvation. The God way, he provide blood and spirit for our salvation. He be faithful. He go help us for run this race to the end. God be faithful where he call we and he be faithful to enable us. It be faithful to strengthen us. When we look in the Bible, we see assurances. Jesus, he talked to the apostles, say, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. He said, behold, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now the assurance that we'll get them. Say, Papa, God go give us the enablement we will need them for run this race unto the end and when we de- run this christian race we the de- one for maintain this assurance we're not the one for push papa got away we the de- one for keep it for stand for side where he want we for stand because it be our enabler bible talks say i can do all things through christ who strengthens me now apostle paul he be talk because jesus be a strength we cannot put him aside we get for maintain this assurance and we depend on God for this assurance. When we will become born again, another thing we will get them as blessing, not divine provision and protection. Divine provision. God will provide what we will need them for our physical lives here on earth. 
and because we did in the world we will be fought by evil spirits god did also give us the protection we will need them for fulfill our days in divine purpose we read them inside philippians chapter 2 verse 19 say now apostle paul be the talk he said but my god shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by christ jesus Apostle Paul give him as an assurance. He tell the church for Philippi. He say, my God, he go supply when I need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now an assurance. Apostle Paul will be give now a suggestion. He will be tell them, say, the God way he bring us to salvation, he will give us this assurance for supply and need. We're not gonna talk too much about what it be need, but I go like for basically talk say needs a bit different from wants. Wants now that kind of thing the way we want for be like that uh, man over there. We want for get way to where all man go see we like the richest. We want for be way to where all man go see we say would they. No, Papa God not the fit now that kind of lost. Papa God they give us our needs, the things that we we'll need them. For run the Christian race will succeed in holiness. So that one now blessed assurance will get them say Papa God, ego supply our needs. Apostle John, he tell the church inside first John chapter four, verse four, say, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome the world, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world take note of that wonderful assurance we don't overcome the world we get the capacity for defeat the god of this world and his seduction with the inside fashion and all fanciful and lascivious kind of life we don't overcome the world how greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world so papa god he give us this assurance for protect we because it they, they in us we overcome the world we get protection he presence in us now spiritual immunity we it fight any virus from this world and his system the devil the infiltration the, the, the manipulations and so on papa god he presence in us now spiritual immunity where it give us victory over the devil and his system. And so, now wonderful blessings that that way we get them as born again believers. I go just want for take them over again so that may we know saying that the wonderful blessings that that way we get them as born again believers. And as we run the Christian race, we no get for lost these blessings. We get for protect them. We get for stand firm, keep these blessings in. The first blessing that say, when we be born again, we be reunited with our Creator, as we see them inside Second Corinthians chapter five, verses seventeen and eighteen. Secondly, when we be born again, we get the hope of eternal life, as we see them inside John chapter fourteen, verses one, two, and three. When we be born again, we get the assurance. Of divine enablement as we see them inside first Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 23 and 24 and uh, fourthly when we be born again we get the assurance of divine provision and protection as we see them inside Philippians chapter 4 verse 19 and first John chapter 4 verse 4 now wonderful blessings are these wonderful blessings but as we be don't talk, these blessings that they be given to us when we start the Christian race. For run the race maintaining these blessings till the end, now another walk. Christianity now a race. We we'll don't first talk, say, when you don't receive these blessings, no thing say you'll be once received the blessings, they go stay with you unconditionally. No. Bible talks in a race. And Jesus be talks say, narrow is the way that leads to life. 
So you will receive blessings at initial salvation, at time when you will be born again. But you give for carry that blessings then. You run the Christian race day through the narrow path to eternal life. And uh, it be very clear in the Bible, say no be everyone where it be start, where it be finish. We even hear Jesus, we believe, talk to the Israelites. He tell them, say, the first shall be the last and the last shall be the first. He talks in many are called, few are chosen. Now about the race that many be called. But not everybody go run the race well. Not everybody go submit to God. He live the way we got he wanted for live and maintain the blessings. So, though they be called, they no go be chosen at the end. Our objective on this program now say may we keep these blessings. We run the race till Jesus a meet up we, so that it take us into eternity. Or if we no go reach the physical return of Jesus, may we die in Christ. May we die in the Lord. May we lay aside any sin. We if it for entangle we for stop we for no make it to the end of this raid. So that. As we keep looking unto Jesus, we'll be the author and finisher of our faith. He goes, strengthen we for run this race to the end. We want to look at some things the way they stand as obstacles on the Christian race. As we run the Christian race, so some things the way they stand as obstacles on the Christian race. And... Uh, Wait till where Papa God want and I say, may we overcome these obstacles then. We win. We make it to the end of the race. We die in Christ or we remain holy at the physical return of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wait to be these obstacles then. The first one, na sin. Na number one enemy that. The second enemy, na the devil. The third enemy, now the ungodly world, the ungodly environment, where would they live there? Now the three enemy than that. We go start begin the look up. Small, small. How will this enemy then? That he walk. And we go to see how we fit for overcome this enemy then. The first enemy now sin. The Bible tells us, inside Galatians chapter 5, from verse 19 say, now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are this, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you, before as i have also told you in time past that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of god we see the consequence of sin as we run the christian race if we get ourselves involved in any of these things the way the word of god it mention them this sin them, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy, envy, murder, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Things the way they did to like they want them. The Bible says if we get involved in these things, the consequence now say we no go inherit the kingdom of God. This sin the way they've been mentioned for here, now obstacles. Now obstacles. On the Christian race. The good thing that say we fit for overcome. Yes. Now the good thing that we fit for overcome. We fit for overcome sin. We fit for remove ourselves from adultery. We fit for remove ourselves from fornication. We fit for remove ourselves from uncleanness. Lasciviousness. All this sin the way they did for year. The truth now say we fit for overcome. Papa God, you say, save it, talk, say, for you and more than conquerors. Bible say, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It, Apostle Paul, it talks, say, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. We fit for overcome this in them. And I did talk to you, picking for God, 
born again believer as you be studied race papa god you know abandon you he did it for help you may you overcome this sin them yes the devil will come to tell you say as you day in this world you know if you avoid this sin them he come to the longer you say may you go back may you go into drunkenness into sexual immorality say may you hate people devil will tell you say if you know sin you know if you succeed in this life now liar the devil now liar and he go even use some human being them for tell you say you know if you succeed where you know sin now agents of the devil that the word of god he rather talk say may we be holy and righteous as our heavenly father it be and it not be an impossibility it be not a possibility for we for be holy as the lord is holy first peter chapter 1 verses 15 and 16 it be written say the lord be holy may we be holy and apostle paul it talks say as jesus day inside ye the strengthen ye if it for do everything good inside romans chapter 8 we read for verse 13 say if you by the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body you shall live say if you by the spirit of god by the enabling power of god if you do mortify we mean say you overcome you suppress the desires of sin with the day in the flesh you go live the point will they make them from this scripture and i say by the spirit if you by the spirit you overcome the deeds of the flesh we mean say the spirit of god did they for help we on our own we will not say we will not fit do them. now why that way papa god he give us the assurance of divine enablement for hell we by your presence we day with us may we run this race and at the encourage you child of god you can make it any evil voice where they tell you say you cannot overcome sin tell that voice say satan you are a liar tell he say i can live without immorality i can live without worshiping pagan gods i can live without eating and wearing those things that god hate Tell Satan, say, it been a liar. Say, you fit for live holy as the Lord, it be holy. Yes. Inside Ephesians chapter 5, verses 5 and 6, we read, say, For this ye know that no warmonger or unclean person, no covetous man, who is an idolater, had any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things commit the wrath of god upon the children of disobedience bible they tell we say may no man you know deceive we with vain words like how we calvin is that he deceives some people they say you'll be one saved forever saved say salvation be unconditional brother my dear Add their own lying voices for they the talk say your salvation it will come now if Satan the blood not day inside you say people they be pre-programmed for go to heaven or hell that kind of doctrine they are evil doctrine they because they didn't make them you did lose commitment for live holy Bible say let no man deceive you those who do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God your deeds when Jesus be really talked to the churches in the book of Revelation, he said, I know thy works. So we get for present ourselves to God, living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto him. And the good thing for here now say, we can do all things through Christ which straighteneth us. The assurance of divine enablement. As we commit ourselves, Papa God go, hell are we, we go live above sin. We go succeed. Sin the number one enemy. We go succeed for overcome ye. Because if we not overcome sin, if we deliberately sin after our conversion, it means we would reject Papa God's grace. After Papa God don't bring us out of sin, wash us in the blood of Jesus, fill us with his spirit. If we go back to sin, it means that we the abuse Papa got the grace. Apostle Paul asked a question. Inside Romans chapter 6 verse 1 say, 
Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yes, I save answer, say God forbid. God no be saved when I say more can live again in sin. Inside Titus chapter 2, verses 10 and 11, right up to 12, step, it don't say the grace of God will bring salvation, it don't appear unto all men. And this grace, it did teach we say we will deny ungodliness, worldly laws, and everything where God hate them, may we deny them, and then we live holy unto the Lord. The good thing now say, as Papa got to pick in them, he don't assure we, say we go get divine enablement. Ye presence in us, ye spirit in us, the power of scripture, the word of God, like the one where they flow this evening, it is strengthened we, and when we accept this power inside us, it go help we for overcome sin. May nobody no lie we say, holiness be impossible. Holiness be possible. Yes. Sin an enemy. And will not be allow this enemy make it destroy our union with Papa God like how we it be destroy him for Adam a time. Sin an enemy. Will not be allow sin make it destroy our hope of eternal life. We no be allow sin make it take away our divine protection. We no be allow sin make it sweep away the blessings the way Papa God don't give we. Now we don't become a picking them. We know we allow sin make it land we again under the power of Satan. Sin this on a door where Satan they pass day. You know we all house get door. Your life they so it also get door. Sin this so na door where Satan they pass day. We know we allow sin make it give Satan passage into our lives. By the power of Papa God we don't give we his spirit. And by your word, we go overcome. King David be talk say, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Now, so we go hide Papa God, your word inside of us, so that your word and your spirit go strengthen we and we go overcome sin. Yes, child of God, as you don't be born again, commit yourself papa god go strengthen you you go overcome sin that thing the way we don't first do so tell people they don't nickname you after those things you go overcome by the power of papa god your spirit and your word in your life you go overcome in the name of jesus you go overcome inside john chapter 8 verses 10 and 11 we get some statements from jesus christ where he be to talk to a woman where he be, be caught in adultery. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw known be the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. The woman be be caught in adultery, and according to Jewish law, they begin for stone ye, make it die. So, the Jews they catch this woman, bring them, can't ask Jesus say this woman be caught in adultery. Mo do it for ye. Say Jesus, you know see say mo shoot her with this stone then kill him. How will the Lord talk? Jesus, he bend down, he right. Then after he woke up, he tell that people they say. If any of you are going to carry this stone, they saw when a day way, when a no be not ever seen. Any one man will not say no be not ever seen. Make it take your own stone as first man shoot that woman day. Jesus talks so, then just focus here on what way they do. You want to wake up ahead again, that people they don't disappear. Because no one of them, you know, if he claims say, you know, be not ever seen. And it benefit from the mercy of God where it keep you alive. That woman then stand for day. He won for Jesus in front. Jesus asked the woman, say, What's other people they where they want to stone you? He said they don't go. Jesus said, Okay, it means say they no condemn you. The woman said yes. Jesus said, as they no condemn you, as they no kill you, so me too, I no condemn you. We mean say. The woman, he don't receive 
forgiveness. We mean say God, he don't pardon that woman. But Jesus tell that woman, say, as you did go, appreciate the mercy of God. Appreciate the grace of God by not sinning again. He tell that woman, say, go and sin no more. That woman gave for show you appreciation to God. We don't forgive his sin by say he no go continue in sin. If he go continue in sin, it means say he did abuse the grace of God. He go lost that grace. As we the run the Christian race, where sin it be our number one enemy, we get for overcome sin. We get for overcome sin. Sin a terrible enemy. Bible said those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. It will take away our union with God. It will destroy all the blessings the way Papa God he gave us. We will not become born again believers. So, for appreciate Papa God, your grace way he bring us to salvation, give us blessings. May we not sin any longer. We also see the case for John chapter 5, where a man will be, be paralyzed. Where he be the sick. Jesus be healed the man. Tell him to make it take up his bed. Make it waka. Because he know be the first waka. The man woke up, he waka. He go. He be healed from his sickness. Bible tell we say. Jesus be meet up this man. After. He tell the man say. Make it go. He no sin again. Because if he sin. Sick way pass that one way, it be the first sick. It go come on ye. My reader inside John chapter 5, verses 13 and 14. It say, And he that was healed wist not who it was. For Jesus had conveyed himself away, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing. Come upon thee. This man he be received the blessing of health from Jesus. And Jesus be telling said the condition for keep that blessing now say sin no more. If this man he go continue for sin, the worst thing, it may be no be only sickness go come. Death if he come. Or if that paralysis won't come again, it may be be being a paralysis will be strike na one side for your body. The paralysis now fit come then paralyze the whole body. Or sometimes not be only paralysis go come again. Sometimes a paralysis with diabetes, with high blood, with HIV, with everything, it come then pile on top of the man. Jesus talks in the condition for keep your health now say sin. No more. Child of God. Will they remember say Papa God it be bring we out of these things. He show we mercy. He heal we. Some of we they so. Our sexually immoral lives and are the one that way sickness for don't kill we. Our lives in idolatry and are the one way Satan for don't twist our neck then bury we untimely. Our lives of cheating people and so on na the kind of lives the way all kind calamity and punishment it be for don't come on us. But the Lord is show us mercy, he wash our sins away in the blood of Jesus. Then we will be born again. And he don't give us his spirit. And today he the empower we by his word. Oh, we go overcome sin for appreciate Papa God. We not go sin again for bring the kind of consequences on us. If we sin, no be the very kind of trouble go come. He go multiply. We go overcome in the name of Jesus. We go overcome by the strength of Jesus. His spirit in us by your word. We go overcome in Jesus name. <laughs> thank you Jesus. We thank Papa God for your strength. Jesus be teach some lesson again inside Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 say. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through the dry places, seeking rest, and findeth none. Then he said, 
I will return unto my house from whence I came out. And when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Jesus be the talk to a generation of people where God don't show them mercy. God, he don't show them blessings, give them blessings. But these people, they, they continue for abuse, the blessings, the grace of God. And so Jesus tell them, say, God, he don't liberate wuna. He don't save wuna from the God of this world. And if wuna no, allow Papa God now for take over wuna. He give wuna strength. Fear wuna. Occupy wuna. If wuna no give Papa God place in wuna lives, the evil spirits, where they be come out from wuna, they know they go now for go, go forever. They they go for go, come back. And when they come back, see, say, you still be a well-swept and kept vessel. Where you still get langa for sin. Those evil spirits, they go, can't enter you. And then they go make your situation, make it worse. Because that spirit, they now, they go bring reinforcement. If they become inside one armor car, they will then come like inside seven more. Which means say you get the first one, then plus seven more. The evil spirits, they go come with reinforcement and then they can't take you over. Yes. So, what we will learn from here now, say, as Papa God, he be saved we from those devils, those evil spirits, the way they be used we for commit sin. May we not remain empty. May we allow Papa God, make it fill us with his spirit every day. May we be revived in the spirit. May we be filled with the word of God. May we be full of the fruit of the spirit. May everything when that equipment coming from Papa God, may we welcome him into our life so that may we flop. When we be occupied, when we be filled up with Papa God's strength, evil spirit, enough he can stay inside us and enough he lead us into hell. Enough he lead us into calamity and punishment. When we read inside Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30, Bible tell we say, And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, wherewith ye are sealed unto the day of salvation. Apostle Paul be the one the church for Ephesus. Say me this church, make you not grieve the Spirit of God. Because the Spirit of God will be inside we. Now yet they give us the assurance of salvation. Now God he mark that. Now God he seal that on us. May we not grieve the spirit of God. God is spirit. Now our source of strength for overcome sin and the devil. May we not grieve the spirit of God. As we the run the Christian race. May we not grieve the spirit of God will be receiving through the born again experience. We get for run this race. With the spirit of God in us, because now he did help we for go through this race to the end. Now he did give us power, so we no get for turn, grief the spirit of God when at the source of our strength. The same apostle Paul he talked inside Ephesians chapter five verse eighteen say, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Say, may we not be drunk with wine. May we be filled with the Holy Spirit. We're not saying that some passage this way. Bad churches, that they use them for encourage their pastors. They will preach them. May they go begin drink alcohol. They talk, say, Bible, say, drink, but don't drunk. And then as so that they teach that kind of bad doctrine of devils, they push their member them into drunkenness. Where Bible talks said, drunkards shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Why Apostle Paul be make the kind of statement? For Ephesus, they be the worship pagan gods, like how we, the pagan Christmas feast he also did. When they go for that pagan feast them, they go drink drunk. 
And so when the church it be, be founded for Ephesus, the believers, the way they be coming to the church, somehow they be still they go be involved in those pagan feasts them. They the drink get drunk. Just like you see some people where they call themselves Christians, when Christmas come, they backslide. The evil spirit of Christmas carry them, go, they go to drink drunk, follow woman them, and so on. So Apostle Paul talked to these Christians for Ephesus, say, do not be drunk with wine, wherein is excess. Which will be mean, I say, may we not begin to drink. That kind of drinking where people, they, they drink and consume alcohol, where they give them intoxication. Same will not be involved in that. Actually, Apostle Paul, you know, be the talk now say consume small alcohol. You know, be the talk now say drink only one bottle. You know, be the talk now say buy a small way to buy and just go drink now for your house. You know, be the talk now say drink but no cush man. You know, that kind of thing be the talk. In fact, it will be get the time for do an exposition on this one with many Bible principles will for prove them very clearly. Say, God, you know, want me you picking them consume alcohol. Whether not for which quantity, God no want me will consume alcohol. Drink any other thing will be nutritive. Drink any other thing where you know contain alcohol. The alcohol where your body need them. Papa God they give you through chop where the chop. Your body they produce them on your own. You no need for go buy them for bottle, they begin drink them. God, you know, want alcohol, whether na which quantity, whether na one teaspoon or na which kind. God, you know, want alcohol. So, Apostle Paul, he talks, say, may we not be drunk with wine, but may we not be filled with the Spirit. When you be filled with the Spirit, you be f- occupied. Evil spirit, the way they don't leave you, when they come back, they see, say, you be filled. They know if he use you again. Because you be filled with the spirit. We mean say, as Papa God be move, move bad spirit there for us. Time will be, be born again. So, we sins they will be remitted. Holy Spirit come in, move bad, bad spirit them. May we not remain empty. May we not grieve the Holy Ghost. May we make sure say we stay revived. We stay filled with the Holy Spirit. So that, may the spirit of God, he occupy we. When Holy Spirit day, evil spirit, it go far. When evil spirit one comes, see say Holy Spirit day, in of it enter. May we be filled with the Spirit. Apostle Paul talked to the church at Colossae. Inside Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 say, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms, in hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts, to the Lord. Let the word of Christ dwell richly in you. Like how we we would listen to Glorious Life Gospel Radio. We'll be fed with the word of God. Even this feeding will we receive them tonight. When the word of God is flop inside you, the devil not be manipulate you. <laughs> now why that way King David be talk say, Thy word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Because when the word of God is flop inside you, na light, and na also the sword of the spirit. I like the way Jesus be used the word of God. It defeats Satan day. Satan can't talk, say, if thou be the son of God, turn these stones into bread and eat. It will be a temptation that we will not discuss the implications or the, the way to where the devil will be defined them inside one of our programs, we'll call them, say, the fall and rise of God the Father's kingdom. You see, how Jesus be overcome that temptation? By the word of God. Jesus be tell the devil, say, it is written. Devil take the temptation, go to another level. Jesus still tell you, say, it is written. He used the word of God, counter the devil, your deception day. Devil still go to the third level of the temptation. Jesus still used the word of God. He said, it is written. He still used only the word of God. He countered the lies of the devil. When the word of God is flop inside you, when that evil spirits, when they don't the fulfill, we keep we inside seeing them, ruin our lives, ruin our health. Tiff, tiff, we money, then we spend them for wicked way, them try and manipulate we in ignorance. When the word of God flop inside we, na light. Satan, they don't want lie. You see him. And you just rebuke him. 
You just the tell it, Satan, it is written. It is written. It is written. So let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Oh, now wonderful equipment this way Papa God you don't give we so that we run the Christian race with them. He fill us with his spirit. He did fill us with the word. Even for times like this world day on Glorious Life Gospel Radio, the grace of God will pass through some people where they support the radio. Now so it make radio frequency be available in different homes now. People be comfortable in their homes. But Papa God the word, it the enter like drip. You know when they put drip, you just shouldn't the relax, the drip, the enter. You day on Glorious Life Gospel Radio now. The word of God, it fill you. It the enter. As he enter so now, so devil, they see how you flop and he no fit come around. Because when the spirit of God and the word of God is there in somebody, evil spirit, the way they don't come out, when they come back, can't see them, they no fit enter again. They no fit deceive. They no fit manipulate you because you flop. And when they talk the evening now, say, may we remain filled with the spirit and filled with the word of God so that we run the Christian race. We overcome sin. Yes. The scripture will be start with them. May we read them again as we can open our telephone lines. It talks say, Wherefore, see we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Say our Christian lives na a race. We thank Papa God say we'll be statum when we be repent of our sins. We be immersed in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of our sins and we be filled with the Holy Ghost. Now the time that way, it be be for us say on the mark, get set, go. Now the time that we will be born again of water and spirit. But from that time, we did now run now the race. And as we did run this race, we not go allow sin. Make it entangle we, it destroy our blessing of salvation, divine protection, divine provision, divine enablement. We no go allow sin, make it destroy these blessings. Rather, we go be filled with the Spirit of God. We no go grieve the Spirit of God. We go stay filled with the Spirit of God. And we go fill ourselves with the Word of God. We go get passion for holiness. And we go run this race overcoming sin so that we go make it to the end of this race. Heavenly Father, I release your blessing on every born again believer out there. Your word has gone forth. And right here from the studio, I can feel spiritual strength that is getting into their spiritual man. Your word calls them those that are more than conquerors. And by your word tonight, I affirm it that they are more than conquerors. No matter their weaknesses of yesterday, today they are stronger. They will run the race. Though they fall, they will arise. For your word says that a righteous man falls and rises up. They will not settle where they fail. They will not swim in sin. They will confess. They will be sorry. They will rise up. They will continue to run this race in holiness. I bless you, Father, because by ministration from this end, you are infusing them with divine enablement, divine strength to run this race in the name of Jesus. Papa, bless them. Bless them. For those that are sorry right now for whatever they did that grieved your spirit, Lord, I see your mercy coming on them. For those of them that in their weakness, oh God, they did something and they are dying in guilt. Papa, I see your mercy coming on them. And I see you lifting them again by your arms of love and grace and re-establishing them on the race again, giving them strength to move, oh God, in holiness till you return. Papa, I thank you. I bless you for your mercy and grace. I bless you, Lord, for your mercy and grace. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters, we go interact with Wuna on this program. If you get any question for ask, I'm about keeping our 
salvation and blessings from God, you go ask him. Your feet for come by text and your feet for come by SMS. So our two telephone number them, the first one is 677 Three We also get six nine one zero one eight eight six three six nine one zero one eight eight six three. With those two telephone number them you fit for reach on the program by text or by direct call encourage somebody when i get our key scripture them it talk same may we lay aside any weight we fit for entangle we more no run the race to the end it same may we look unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith it also talks same may we make our calling and election sure and i believe him say you child of god you go run this race to the end I believe him. Say, if you remain with the Spirit of God in you, the Word of God in you, with that first love where you beget them for God, that passion where you beget them for God, you go run this race, you go overcome sin, and we all go make them to the end in Jesus' name. We get two text messages the way they don't come in. This one talks, say, good evening, Pastor. Good to have you live again more grace god bless you sister elsa then we get this other text it talks a good evening man of god welcome back i'm uh webona mohammed isaku i'm a muslim my wife and daughter christians you are god sent please pray for me my family and the world against drunkenness stagnation Faithless life, pray for our business, let favor and blessings locate us. Let's meet those we are to meet and miss those we are to miss. Thank you, Jesus. Happy to hear this from you. And uh, I'm glad to say Islam, you know, stop you from exercising faith in Jesus. We understand, say, people, that it be born into islam women say the faith just be declared on them but as you don't de- listen to the word of god you don't develop faith and love in the lord jesus christ until you give us this prayer request it be a wonderful thing in fact i thank god so much for your faith in the lord jesus christ and because of your faith in the lord jesus christ i speak his blessing on your life may all this request that you have presented tonight Be channels, reasons why the Lord will touch you and raise you to heights and give you testimony that will reveal his glory on your life in the name of Jesus. Brother, may God bless you, bless your family. Did request them, may the Lord answer you in Jesus' name. We did talk now on the topic, keeping your salvation and blessings from God. We get Papa Charles on the line. Thank you, Pastor. You are welcome back. Thank you, Papa Charles. May God bless you. Hear your voice again. Amen. And we pray that you should continue on that. Amen. God bless. Thank you very much. Thank you, Papa. Salute family for we. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Papa. <laughs> we get Evangelist Caleb on the line. Good evening, Pastor. Thank you, Evangelist. Ashaba Studio. Thank you. I really thank God for the lesson of today. Amen. Lord be great. You'll be welcome, sir. You see, the word of God, it talks say anybody where he they go to God, he gets for belief say God day and he be not the rewarder of people them way they seek he diligently. Amen. So when person he resists the devil and then he submit to Jesus by accepting his atoning work on Calvary and acting in obedience to Acts two thirty eight, God he did then First of all, reward thee by redeeming thee by the blood of Jesus, and he will regenerate thee by his spirit. Yes. At that point, the person be called a child of God, and he be a citizen of God's household. 
a citizen of God's household, we get to run the race to return. Mm -hmm. And we get to run the race now in holiness. Yes. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14, it talks say, without holiness, nobody not be see God. Mm -hmm. And First Peter chapter 1 verse 16, it talks say, make will be holy, for our God will be holy. Mm -hmm. So we not get for things say, as God done, then save we, we then get for just believe say, we'll be one safe forever safe, then we we'll jump into some kind kind thing, then just begin to do, and then when Jesus returns, we'll carry hand over here like Satan and born we. So now a very bad thing for things it will be one safe forever safe because holiness will be part of the race who will be running. Yes. I will not get for keep holiness aside for a way. So wait you are the talk. Now say make will be holy for our God, it be holy. Yes. And when we be born again, we'll not get for a last self interest, me then take God in interest. Mm -hmm. God, he be interested in a, in a being holy, as I don't first talk him. God, he was be interested for, in a studying his word. Yes. So we to study the word of God for show ourselves approved unto God. God, he also be interested in a fellowshipping together as a body. Mm -hmm. So we get for the come together for the edify each other. Yes. So make somebody not gather all the problem, then come put an our day away the, the fellowship. Now a very bad sign that a very bad thing. And if somebody not take all the program, then come put an for time we get to study the Bible. So the race we will run them so. Now a race we na Papa God put them before we. And we will run so now for go be account unto ye. So we will take care. We will take care. Do them the way the Bible they talk. Follow him as our way God in the instruct way for a word for follow up. So man of God, I thank you for the program. Okay, evangelist, before you go, I want to ask you a question, sir. Okay, man of God, listen. I would like may you encourage the people the way they think say they no feel live holy. They the uh, they the fool them say it is so if you want for succeed for this life, you must live in sin. Wait till mm. you fit for tell those kind of people the way the devil they try for lie for them. So how you fit for encourage them, make they get passion for holiness and for for maintain their grounds for God for empower them. How you fit for encourage them? Jesus in his spirit form, he did come inside of we. And the Bible talks say through Christ, we eat the inside of we, we fit for do everything. Yes. So somebody not get for things say you know be holy. Say you know be be holy as Jesus Christ, he be holy because Jesus, now the power by which he could overcome every sin. Okay. So we we'll get to submit to God according to his word, and then now God he could strengthen we. So me nobody not think say you know he be a child of God genuinely by being holy. No sin no devil will not be overcome. Jesus, now he talks say he could strengthen you, he could enable you, he could empower you, he could equip you. So as you submit to his soul, he must be just leave you as a good father. He could take you on to the end. So I encourage everybody say the word of God is big. Uh, Evangelist Caleb, he called on stop. But I think Evangelist Caleb he don't give us wonderful information. Especially the part where he encourage the people way that he thinks say the Nofi succeed in the battle against sin. Child of God, you can succeed. No be by your strength. You just need for surrender yourself to Jesus Christ. Receive the equipment where they give you. Your spirit, your word, you go back the love where you get her for Christ and you go overcome sin. We get this text from Madame Mokom. It's a good evening, Pastor. I want to thank you for this great message. Knowing that we are not once saved, forever saved, and that we can lose our salvation. So I am prepared to guard my salvation with all fear and trembling, so that at the end, by the grace of God, I will wear that crown of glory. God bless you, Pastor. Thank you very much, Madam. Yes. Wait where Papa God give us, we go guard him. More grace, man of God. Thank you, our dear brother. I thank you plenty for this wonderful work we do. We give God the glory, sir.
you know, say, people them day today where they no believe, say, they still live righteous life, maybe in difficult situations or in poverty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why? Because of the kind messages where other churches them, they speak them with them. Mm -hmm. And these churches, they not exactly point them directly to the word of God without pointing them back to some certain things like uh, without money, without the one, you don't feel worship God, and where it is very bad. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, my contribution for uh, uh, advice or encourage others now say, may we don't know God now only time we think them be fine. Yes. Or may we don't know God now only when we be in comfortable situation. Mm -hmm. Like born again children of God. We did take example for people like Joseph, mm -hmm. Abraham. Mm -hmm. We see the difficult situation the way they go through, but mm -hmm. yet they be stand firm on their feet. Yes. And they know they drop their face down. Mm -hmm. So, when I did hear preaching, when they come out like uh, from men of God like you, so I did really wonder whether many men of God today, they did see, do as you did do or what is happening. Because I don't work at church today, I realize that you will see somebody where it be a 419er or a thief or a prostitute, but they will only tell you and say, you are blessed, you are successful, you shall be great. Instead for say, he says, stop that thief. Yes. Stop that lie. Stop that prostitution. You give your life to God, according to God's word. They not be talking. So when we hear people that they see preach like you, so in fact, nothing for thank God. Nothing for thank God. Amen. So man of God, more great. Thank you. We thank Brother Samuel, very much, and uh, such encouragement, them that they give us reason for begin preach which way it goes strengthen us like this. We get Brother Nelson on the line. You'll be welcome, sir. That's a good evening, I'm all great. Thank you, my brother. We well, thank you for that encouragement, amen, sir. We well, thank God for the wonderful book and this evening, amen. Yes, so Philippians chapter 2 verse 12. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, mm -hmm. walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for the encouragement we give you. This Bible is tough for you, so we for walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. And I also thank God to say, through glorious life, God's will read you, we don't be delivered from false doctrines and false Christianity. Mm -hmm. Whether they teach, say, salvation, and one, one say forever saved. So, for years, they tell me to go for, we can walk out our salvation with fear and trembling. Yes. We mean, say, salvation, as you know, we talk about it, a race. Yes. A get a process, we go for pass through. Yes. We can say, so say you don't start run, you know me say you don't cross the final line. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Christianity is so a day. Yes. And so these people here they preach false things. Some of them they know even they know even know God. Wait for John chapter seventeen verse three. Just can say, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. And so for them now, they don't even know this salvation they begin now by the knowledge of the one true God. And yet they brag say salvation and one safe forever safe. Away from the very beginning, when at the knowledge of God they don't even know. So I want to thank God say true glorious life gospel we do. I don't know the one true God and I so I don't receive salvation from the knowledge of the one true God. And God now is strengthening me for him walk out the salvation with fear and trembling even on to the end. So I thank you again for giving me the encouragement through the word of God. Thank you, man of God, and more grace. Okay. God bless you. God bless you, our brother, for that uh, wonderful encouragement. We get Mr. Church here on the line. <laughs> uh, is it all good evening? Thank you, sir. Uh, so you have a remarkable number as mine. 
Come again. Ah, the Magora Rada. I want to say good evening to all the listeners of uh, Glorious Life Radio. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you for for your brave, your braveness, and your effort. We so I wish to ask the the topic of uh, of today. Okay, we are talking about uh, keeping your salvation and blessings from God. To receive salvation and blessings from God is one thing, and to keep this salvation and blessings is another. So, oh, but of course, that one is very obvious. Yes. So you that, that, you have been to school. Is it everything that you learn in school that you remember to today? Except that you put it in practice. <laughs> yeah, simple reasoning. <laughs> well, I know understand which way Mr. Church he'll be the tribe for talk, say no be everything where we go for school, learn and what they remember until today. If I no remember them, that will not be a positive thing. That will not be a strength, not a weakness. So the Bible talks, say, may we not be forgetful hearers. May we be people where we retain, where we will learn them, and we keep them in us. Thy word have I hid in my heart. So if I know if you remember the thing that will learn them, that weakness, no be strength. And God gave for help me for overcome the weakness. We get Papa Abel from Damukong. Yeah, good evening, Pastor. Mark. Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Yeah, Papa, God, uh, let me give you a life. Me, uh, they feed me with spiritual food, and me would guide me with the full you till the mighty Jesus he returns it Amen. so that uh, God, we're there in the present as he to talk. Say, if we got the food, I'm fine. You can't take me. So my encouragement are for people where. My kids make them where everything say their own time don't pass for follow for read book. Say me they go back for Bible now. Yes. Then don't make they see the last fight because I have to take this one at the last time because we don't already read plenty Bible plenty things. I don't work out for plenty man of God. Work out read book them can can do this thing now at the right time this. Yes. My, this for my age people say me they go back to the drawing board to uh, apostolic their foundation. Start there for you or their family. Amen. Before you do it, thank you, Pastor. May more grace. Thank you, Papa Ebel. We thank Papa Ebel for that encouragement. Say may we take biblical truth, apply them for our lives. We run the Christian race in truth and make it to the end. This text again, it comes from Sister Elsa. It says, Sir, how can one be on track when the world and bad friends with situations keep on arising. May we take uh, Brother Emmanuel before we come back to that text. Hello? Okay, evening. Good evening, Brother Emmanuel. Yeah, more grateful. Thank you, bro. Yeah, we pray we got sent to me for the rest to the end. Amen. Yeah, more grateful. Thank you, bro. Okay. Uh, this one used to be some problem when uh, Phones they be wrongly manipulated. It put some voice effects in. I think a brother get that situation, and sometimes you don't know. Uh, but as we hear the voice, it come out funny like that. That the mistake way plenty of people used to make them when they touch some buttons, they for phone way maybe they don't know. It put that voice effect distort the quality of their voice. Okay, sister Elsa, be the ask and say how we fit for. Uh, be on track. How we run the Christian race, be on track with the world around us and bad friends with bad situations that they keep on arising. My dear sister, Jesus be see all of this. Now why that way be talk say narrow is the way that leads to everlasting life. Jesus, if we talk say in the world, we go get tribulation. Jesus be talking saying that only in him we will go get peace. So your question, it bring us back to the points that we will be making. Then we'll add some things on top. Say, biblical Christianity, it no promise us a smooth life on earth. Any form of Christianity where it promise you smooth life on earth, no be true Christianity. 
na a manipulated Christianity by the devil. Now the devil, the talk say, if you bow to ye, he will give you all things. Jesus no be ever promised that kind of Christianity. Jesus be talk say, the way to everlasting life, it be narrow. Then he talk again, say, the broad way, not to hell. So, the world around us, truly as our sister talk, na really a difficult place. Na difficult place. The people where you live with them, do business with them, go to school with them, interact with them. Even the one the way you try for help, they did turn to be sources of temptation, spiritual obstacles to you. But, Bible say, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Now, why that way? We suppose for depend on God's strength. May the spirit stay alive in us. He give us the strength where we need them. May the word of God, he fill us, he give us the wisdom, the direction where we need them, and we go run this race till the end. Good evening, pastor. More grace. We are happy to have you live. Thank you for feeding our souls, Brother Rogers. Thank you very much, Oga. We're glad to get you on the program. Salute family for we. We get this text from Evangelist Tande. He said, Pastor, good evening and more grace, sir. I am in deep joy whenever you are on radio. The message of tonight is in line with the previous teachings that came to strengthen born again believers. While I say this, I also wish to remind those who have not even begun the race to begin by obeying Acts chapter 2 verse 38, for it will only be then that they shall have started the kingdom race. Thank you, Pastor. Evangelist, we also thank you for this wonderful text message. You encourage people for start. Because you know if you run race where you never start them. You know if you endure race where you never start them. Thank you very much, evangelist. We get Mr. Church Hill again on the line. Uh, 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 one just asked here. That means that if man will obey uh, Acts 2, that the Adam to the man will go to heaven. Yes, according to John chapter 3, verse 5. I don't, according, uh, no, no, quote me. Uh, I don't know where to stop your call, uh, Mr. Church Hill. Yes, now so you did begin the Christian race. Bible tell we for John 3, 5, Jesus himself, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So when you enter the spiritual phase of God's kingdom, you begin this spiritual race. We'll call him say, the Christian race. We get brother Eric on the line. Pastor. My brother. From this to thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, me and my family will kind of follow the entreaty spiritual for the fifth day. Amen. <laughs> Brother Eric, if he talks say more grace, say that he enjoy spiritual food. The spiritual food this evening now say our born again experience it put us on a spiritual race. Thank God, say your grace, it give us start. And your grace. You could still empower us for go through. Hello? Yes, Daddy, good evening. Good evening, Ma. I've been very happy for the message. We thank God, Mama. Yeah, I began at some small contribution. I want to tell Sister Elsa, where if you talk, say, how mango do follow God as friend and entangle and the other things there. Yes. I want to tell you, say, me, you know, say, even kingdom. Of God, if he suffer violent and if not only by power where you did take him. Amen. Separate you from those friends then. Follow you, God, as the word of God to the tell we say, if you 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 hold cross, you keep on looking behind. The kingdom of God no fit fit for you. Mm-hmm. Yes, now the small conspiracy way of one talk. Okay, man. Okay, man, take Mr. Church Hill again. Uh, I will ask and say, yes, that means according to your definition of salvation, unless man be baptized according to Acts 2 38, you know, if you enter heaven, yes, no, be only baptism day for Acts 2 38. For Acts 2 38, 
for well, it's a door. Let's go gradually. Ting tang, ting tang. That's all the answer. If some man of baptized according to Acts two thirty eight, he will enter heaven or not? That one be true, but that one may you see the complete experience. You will never even see answer whether the man will enter or he not go enter. You are trying. You know, play logic, man for logic. Baptism, now one of the experiences, the way you must get them for enter into the kingdom so of God. So unless man be baptized, foresee, not according to Acts two thirty eight, he not go enter now. Well, <laughs> no talk say where well, like Why say. Do you have man, the if you know, okay, if, okay, I, oh, it, it's okay. I feel that you cannot answer that one. It's okay. Let me go to another thing. Uh, you know, say I be a Trinitarian, you be an Isidorian. You understand? And you get your own customer there, as well as with the other guy to get a customer. Now inside this town, there's something going on. All these other guys in the reality make their own program, and during the day. For five years, you say take the, the, the customers. And you remember that when this program started, that is what I told you. <laughs> so you said the day go count. <laughs> Those are running at all people inside the thing. So I actually know how to it go on. Okay, <laughs> so you'll be happy, say, them the oppose Acts 238. Well, dear listeners, wait to wait, Mr. Churchill, the talk now, say, if you don't tell me, uh, say, Opposition go rise, and it did talk say other radio stations that they run programs for oppose which would they teach on glorious life gospel radio. The Bible said the scriptures cannot be broken. I go talk like Gamaliel to be talk when he be shido inside uh, the sun hindering court. He talk. He say if we na defy this thing where it be of God, we na no fit succeed. He say, if this thing be of God, whether we na fight, go up, come down, we na no fit succeed. Mo draw a line based on which way Mr. Churchill don't talk. Like Elijah on Mount Camel. Mo draw a line. If the oneness of God and the Acts 238 born again experience, it be of God, no church denomination, you cannot succeed against Acts 238. Will we go on air? 2016 will be the still using Def Cam Radio. Then after we come to Glorious Life Gospel Radio 2017, we will only go on and off for some reasons. And some people be predict our end since for that 2016. But now 2020, this we still day on. It is by the power of truth with Glorious Life Gospel Radio day on. And the thousands of lives the way we don't impact them they go only increase. There is no regression. This good generation will day now for glorious life gospel radio. I promise the people of Bamenda, say God go raise some army where go pass we, will the minister for here now. And that army, it go do exploit inside this Bamenda and beyond. Acts 238, now the born again experience will be biblical and no evil of satan whether who make itself available may they use them they no fee stop at 238 they cannot stop the oneness of god will be biblical so we don't draw that line if it be of god and the bible may we all will begin to watch for see what will happen with pastor isidore or not with the team where it they on glorious life gospel radio now or not the oneness of god and acts 238 now they salvation experience it will only prevail when they be buried jesus they be things say they don't succeed but jesus resurrect now so you know if he also buried the truth about the salvation where jesus bring them you know if you bury him i will just talk at this time say uh, at the back if you call again go to the topic what you deal with them no distract we when they talk about keeping your salvation and blessings Mr. Churchill, you there on the line. I would like me you go to the topic we did this evening. Well, Hello? You want, you want to make uh, a few comments pertaining to the, the, the call and I'm going to make up. You fit for go yes. to the topic we did it. I want those, I want those stuff to say, you know the truth. Truth the wonderful power. Mr. Churchill, you fit for go to the topic we did this evening, keeping your salvation yes. and blessings from God. Good. I will also tell you from the beginning, say, you go to school. That's the ultimate thing I will school, you remember. 
isn't it? You answer, say yes. Now, I will tell you, say, if you get salvation from God, when I go, you go be in by faith. And then, for you for keep this salvation, you get to keep a good life, so that God will continue to bless you. If you talk otherwise, I'm going to say that one, I own kind of gospel. And then, coming back to what I was saying, you use, you and Isidorian, you use Acts 2.38 or counter Matthew 19.28. Uh, I'll stop your line because you go off topic. Text messages a day here will get for the reader. This one again, it comes from Sister Elsa. It said the scripture cannot be broken. Mr. Churchill is a distraction, sir. Tell him Christ must be heard. Okay. Hello? Hello, Pastor. Good evening. Madam Mokom, you be welcome. Thank you, Pastor. The thing I say, distractors must always come. Mm-hmm. But we know that the truth can never be broken. Amen. The scriptures can never be broken. Yes. Like, he can talk nasty, he can talk nasty. The fact is, we are not preaching our own gospel. We yes. are preaching the Bible. Yes. So if you want to talk to me, talk to me the entire Bible. Me maybe go round and round, round and round. Mm-hmm. And me not be a distractor, way to destroy people, way to make people a lot to concentrate and follow. Because this program has helped so many people there. Mm-hmm. So many people have learned how to study their Bibles and buy Bibles. Mm-hmm. So me not come for weaken people their spirit. Because That's you know that the devil, they is get much device for you I mean, yeah. no man only to serve for the table for you, sir. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much, ma. We will talk about keeping your salvation and blessings from God. Papa God, when he bless us with salvation, he give us the assurance of eternal life, the hope of eternal life. He give us the assurance of divine blessings. Hello? Pastor, I want to come and begin now. Okay, you'll be welcome, sir. Uh, I'll come back so for answer question. We will be asking a start and then I'll finish them. Okay, my phone will just get some complication, then then it go off. Mm-hmm. So, the question will be say, How are people encourage people them with the things say if they submit to Jesus, they're not going to succeed? Yes, so actually, Jesus will talk to somebody, not be serve two masters at the same time. Yes, so the truth now say, If you not submit to Jesus. You will submit to the devil. And as the Bible talks, people then when they submit to Jesus, they get for first of all belief say that Jesus he did give the power. Now he did enable them. Now he did empower them. Now he did give them the strength for make well. Yes. So I know they see say if person not submit to Jesus, if he really succeed. Actually, if you not submit to Jesus, instead you're not gonna succeed. Mm-hmm. But when you submit to Jesus, he could instead enable you to succeed. Mm-hmm. Satan. Satan, they only give you a temporal thing then. Yes. But now Jesus get a permanent feature for give we. Mm-hmm. The Bible talks say at Jesus' return, he could change we. Even with the way we he suffer from, as we suffer today so, many diseases and they around we, we he hear gunshots everywhere. At Jesus' return, he could take with the home where all these things and they not could be again. So actually, I see and say, according to the Bible, now again for believe in Jesus. Yes. And now a loss for believe in Satan. Mm-hmm. So people, the way they live without the spiritual power of God upon their life, they did be be used by Satan. And when Satan put them under their control, under, under, under his control, he did only torment them to the sin and above hell. So my encouragement to my brothers and sisters now say, this world be so, as we appear on this earth, no matter we create ourselves then, we come from God. And now that God equal Joshua at the end. Yes. So no matter the way we relieve, submit yourself to God first. Because, because when you submit yourself to God, it then direct your ways yes. on how to do everything in life. Yes. But when you leave yourself just for the leave anyhow, now Satan they come in and put you under a control, torment you, then send you to hell. Mm-hmm. So I they encourage everybody say, make we submit to God. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, Evangelist. I'm uh, Mohammed. Please let Mr. Church he let to be himself. If he is a politician, let him go to Yaounde. Yes, we need to do na politics on uh, Glorious Life Gospel Radio.
with the preaching of the word of God for the salvation of people, their souls. Madame Mokom again, he gave us this text. He said, Pastor, I believe that even out of Christianity, there is what we call respect. You don't call a person, a person's name without that respect, even if you don't want to recognize his title. You are very correct. May we rehearse. Today, we don't be talking about keeping your salvation and blessings from God. Inside Hebrews chapter 12, from verse 1, it says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Our key statement inside this passage now say, May we lay aside every weight, every sin, where it is entangled we, for some will not run the Christian race very well. And may we begin to look unto Jesus, where it be the beginning and it be the end of our faith. It be the author, where means saying that he start with us, and that he be the finisher. So we get for keep ourselves fixed on Jesus. When we allow Jesus, his spirit, it dwell in us. We will not grieve his spirit. We keep a healthy relationship with him. His spirit is a source of strength for us. Because we are not fit for overcome sin without the enablement of Christ. Apostle Paul B. Talk say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are not fit overcome sin without the strength of Christ. We emphasize again on the program today. Say for overcome even the devil, we need the spirit of Christ. We also need the word of Christ richly in us. Because na light, na a lamb unto our feet also, a light unto our path. So that we go get that spiritual strength, the sword of the spirit, the word of God, for overcome sin. When we overcome sin, we go be able to run this race we make it to the end. We not be start this race, brothers and sisters, now for stop halfway. We not be start this race now for go tie with food with some sin, gam to the devil. We not be start this race now say at some point we go go put the chain of sin for our neck. We gam a devil hold him like halfway person they put chain for ducky neck hold him. We be start the race now for disconnect ourselves from any kind of sin where. A fit for destroying our spiritual lives. We disconnect ourselves. We run this race in holiness. We make them to the end. And the wonderful thing that say, our God, He don't promise for be with us, strengthen us, help us. May we run this race in holiness to the end. Because our God, He know, say on our own, we know we succeed. What a wonderful promise we get them from the Lord. Say it goes strengthen us for go through. And now our place for stay committed, we love God, we commit ourselves so that make it strengthen we for God to the end. May we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time again on Glorious Life Gospel Radio and for the program we have had tonight. Father, we are blessed. We thank you for this wonderful race that you have placed us in. We thank you, O oh God, for your strength that is available in us. We thank you, great King of glory, for the assurance you have given us, O oh God, to always have the enablement we need to overcome sin from you. We say receive all the glory. Father, we present our love for you. We present our willing hearts to you. Energize your people. You know us in and out. You know where we are weak. Strengthen us. We are willing to follow. We are willing, oh God, to endure. Papa, strengthen us. Lead us, we will follow. Speak to us, we would listen. 
Papa, direct us and we will go your way. We bless you. We thank you for your children out there that you have strengthened through this program tonight. We thank you for those who have seen the need to overcome those entanglements that held them down in their spiritual lives. Papa, we give you glory and honor for all that you have done through this program tonight. Bless your people with safety. We thank you, hoping that by your grace we will be back on this frequency tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen.